Today we're hitting Las Vegas, home of the SEMA show. That's right, it's the hottest automotive trade show in the world. And we'll be speaking with the man who has designed some of the sickest cars in the automotive industry, Ralph Gills. Ralph is Senior Vice President of Design at the Chrysler Group. He is also President and CEO of the SRT brand. You're watching Hobbies and Hustles Interact. Hobbies and Hustles, I'm back. Ralph, how you doing today, buddy? Very good. I mean, uh, I love this place. This is a mecca for me. This is the SEMA show. Hundreds of thousands of us enthusiasts are out here, and, and I've been a car lover since I was a kid. You were designing cars yeah. as young as six years old, is that correct? Yeah, you know, I was kind of, you know, I grew up in what I call the ugly 80s. I mean, cars were not so good back then, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. So I would always take cars, take pictures. I, I, my, my parents would buy me car magazines, right. and I would sketch over them and try to improve them. Right. And eventually I got to the point where I was designing unique cars, my own cars. And my aunt told me, hey, you know, follow your dreams. What do you really want to own be a car? I didn't even know what it was. I didn't know there was such a thing. It's your aunt, who you mentioned, yeah. got somehow in touch with Lee Iacocca. <laughs> to kind of get you in the game, so to speak, correct? I understand my aunt. She's a New York woman. She lives in Long Island, New York. I used to spend summers there. I grew up in Montreal, Canada. Spent summers in New York. And she saw me doing all that sketching. She's like, you know, and at the time, in the early 80s, it was, the I Coke was all over the TV sets. Right. He was, if you can find a better car, you know, one of those commercials. Our Chrysler LeBaron series. If you can find a better car, buy it. So she said, let's write a letter to Lee I Coke. I'm like, what? You know, so she did that. She helped me write the letter and sent some pictures. And they wrote back. Wow. Couldn't believe it. Now they wrote back. Uh, it wasn't him exactly, but he sent yeah. it to. Uh, I actually ended up working for him. Right. Uh, Neil Walling uh, sent me back a letter saying, "You know what? These are the schools you should look at. You're a little young for us. 14 years old. We don't hire 14 year olds." Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Ralph designed a car that was so popular in the streets it was given an alias. Let's see if you can guess the name of the car. <laughs> You are correct. Baby Bentley is the name of the car. The, the term of uh, Baby Bentley, do you embrace that or is yeah, that something that, no, you know? Cool. But, it, you know, it's Baby Bentley. I, we get that a lot, but now it's, it's Bentley for real, I say. Because I knew the 2013 to 2012 300, we stepped it up. If you haven't driven one in a while, it's like everything about the car now is, you know, the old car had looked good, but the interior wasn't quite there. Right. Uh, we put a lot more money, a lot more content execution. So now I say it's a Bentley for real. When we first launched the 300C, uh, there was like 55 modified 300s, barely on the market. It went nuts. And the year before that, Snoop Dogg had seen the car here at the Mopar Tunnel. The car was on display. It was our New York concept car that we brought here. We repainted a different color. We just showed it. We didn't really think anything of it. Yeah. He stopped cold, saw the car, made a big deal about it. Said he called us and he wants one of these things. And right. yeah, he actually, I give him a lot of, he still has that car, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of the first cars that you could put 20 inch wheels on it. Yeah. And uh, I had a normal car. Normally you had to buy, you know, big, big SUVs for that kind of thing. Beats by Dre. When did you guys decide that that was a, I have, a marriage? I got to give uh, Olivier and Saad Shehab a lot of credit. Uh, I mean, they're a marketing team. But Dr. Dre, well, I had to listen to it. It wasn't just yeah. throw the name on there. Yeah. It was like, let's let's tune it up, right? So we worked with them, and they set the amplifier. The, uh, it really is a custom system we added. It wasn't enough bass for him, right. so we had to ask a, add a custom subwoofer in the back. And you can get it now in um, the Dart. It's available in the Dart. It's going to go into more cars. Some of Ralph's latest designs would include the 300C SRT8 and the SRT Viper. And, of course, the Grand Cherokee SRT. All right, so Ralph. Out of all the car designs, what is your favorite car design? From our company? From your company. Well, my favorite car design is... Well, you know what? We'll let our, our viewers decide. Okay, viewers, it's time for you to guess Ralph's favorite car design. Go ahead, pick a car, any car. You are correct. The SRT Viper is Ralph's favorite car design. Can you elaborate on why this is your baby? Well, you know, it's I love the Viper. It's one of the. It's another reason I joined Chrysler. When I saw that car as a concept car, I just fell in love with it. And the fact that Chrysler would do something like this really excited me. Um, so having a chance, and I was involved in the last one, but only a little bit. And this one completely, we had a chance to start from scratch. Uh, Sergio gave us the go-ahead to do it. So I'm like, all right, if we're going to get a chance to do the Viper, we don't own the Viper. 
America owns the Viper. Right. This is a this is an icon now, right? It's not just our car anymore. So, um, an inspiration for it, you know, a joke about it was on Jimmy Kimmel. Um, Holly Berry is my inspiration for this car. I, I told my guys, I said, you know, I want the car to be like a timeless woman. And she's timeless. She looks yes. good. She's not exaggerated in proportions. Like you said, small, compact. But the new design had to be tight, taut, and, and, and really timeless. I'm a racer. I love racing the Viper. And it's one of those cars that you wear it. You feel it. Right. The old car, like you said, was a little, you wrestled it. You know? right. This right. car dances with you. It's yeah. a big improvement in the chassis dynamics. 640 horsepower, carbon fiber, a lot lighter than the old one. What kind of advice can you give kids out there, as well as adults, um, to just kind of go for it? Today you have the internet, you can go research companies and kind of reverse engineer jobs. If you see someone out there doing something you like, type their name in, figure out how they got there, what school they went to, you know, stuff like that. There's guys that go to design school to be a car designer, they end up being movie designers. Right. They right. design all those wonderful spaceships and movies. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of great careers out there. Dreaming big. I always tell kids to dream big. You know, don't you know, don't be just settled for, for the obvious thing because yeah. the quick hit. Ralph. D Bell signing off, hobbies and hustles. Anything you want to say? To you? you know, I, I love what you guys are doing. You're inspiring, hopefully, the young people to do something and dream big. Dream big, hobbies and hustles. See ya.